So, welcome back. I'm Alan Jay, and welcome to Lincoln Central with your sixth amazing trig tutorial in the Basic Trig series. Today we'll be looking at the angles produced from the intersection of straight lines. Hmm, you don't seem impressed. But look sharp, people. You're about to be blitzed with some new stuff that will keep you on your toes. Today, I'll be introducing you to four types of equal angles. Vertically opposite, alternate internal, alternate external, and corresponding angles. And so to the first of these beauties, vertically opposite angles. Basically, you have two straight lines intersecting each other at a point, creating four angles. In the diagram, the two lines AB, CD, intersect at O, creating angle AOD, angle AOC, angle BOC, and angle BOD. Now just looking at these guys kind of gives it away, don't you think? The angles opposite, facing each other, look equal. But to be exact, to be equal, angles must be vertically opposite. The two lines making them must be continuous straight lines. If this is not the case, then the angles aren't vertically opposite, even though they may look equal. Check out the diagram to show you what I mean. Yep, so remember, the lines making up the angles must be continuous straight lines. Angle AOB is, does not equal angle COD. Angle BOC does not equal angle AOD. But there is a straight line in this diagram, so angle AOB plus angle BOC, they are supplementary angles, they equal 180 degrees, but look closely, angle AOD plus angle AOB does not equal 180 degrees. So looking again at our first diagram, angle AOC equals angle BOD, angle AOD equals angle BOC, vertically opposite angles. If you were making the statement, say, as part of an answer to a problem, you'd write vertically opposite, vert ops ls, short for vertically opposite angles, in brackets on the same line afterwards, as an explanation for the equality. If we put some numbers in our example, you might notice something. Remember, angles in a straight line are supplementary, that's the adult 180 degrees, well, here we have four pairs of supplementary angles. Angle AOC plus angle BOC. Angle BOC plus angle BOD. Angle BOD plus angle AOD. Angle AOD plus angle AOC. OK, let's have one quick problem to draw all this together. From the diagram, find the values of the angles. Find A, B, C and D. Well, angle FOE equals 30 degrees. Angle FOE equals angle BOC, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle BOC equals 30 degrees, which implies that B equals 30 degrees. Angle AOB equals 60 degrees. Angle EOD equals angle AOB, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle EOD equals 60 degrees which implies that C equals 60 degrees. In the straight line BOE, angle FOE plus angle FOA plus angle AOB equals 180 degrees. They, they are supplementary angles. Substituting the values, we get 30 plus A plus 60 equals 180. So A equals 180 minus 90, and A equals 90 degrees. Angle FOA equals 90 degrees. Angle FOA equals angle COD, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle COD equals 90 degrees, which implies that D is 90 degrees. Time now to look at parallel lines and the angles made when we lay a straight line across them. Before we start, let's take a closer look at these parallel lines. Well, to show that they are indeed parallel, we signify this by putting arrows on them. The arrows, one on each line, 
point in the same direction and are slightly staggered, like so. If we now lay our straight line, called a transversal, across the two parallel lines, eight angles are generated. Putting letters on the diagram and the values for the angles, you should see some patterns emerging. Well, first off, you should immediately spot the vertically opposite angles, four pairs in all. Certain pairs of angles are not equal to each other, but supplementary. Remember, together they add up to 180 degrees. OK, the pairs of angles in straight lines are obvious, but there are other supplementary angles if you look closer. There are transversal internal angles between the parallel lines and facing each other on each side of the transversal. OK, they're supplementary. And there are transversal exterior angles outside the parallel lines facing outwards. These are also supplementary. Now let me introduce you to the corresponding angles. These are pairs of equal angles that appear on the same side of the transversal, but one is inside the parallel lines and the other is outside. Look at the diagrams and you'll see what I mean. Each pair is on the same side of the transversal, one interior, the other exterior. Now let's look at alternate interior angles. These are pairs of equal angles appearing inside the parallel lines on different sides of the transversal. Only one more angle type to go, so hang on. The alternate exterior angles are the angles vertically opposite to the alternate angles on the outside of the diagram. I know this is a, an awful lot to take it in all at once, so we need to get some practice quickly while we have all the balls in the air. OK, I think one problem will suffice, but it's a big one. Uh, and it'll also give you some idea how to set out your answers in geometrical terms. So here it is. In the diagram, angle CHF is 125 degrees. Find the value of each angle. OK, well, here goes. Angle GHD equals angle CHF, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle CHF equals 125 degrees. Angle CHF plus angle FHD equals 180 degrees. They're supplementary angles. Therefore, angle FHD equals 55 degrees. Angle CHG equals FHD. They're vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle CHG equals 55 degrees. Angle CHG equals angle AGE. They're, they're corresponding angles. Therefore, angle AGE equals 55 degrees. Angle BGH equals angle CHG, alternate angles. Therefore, angle BGH equals 55 degrees. Angle AGH equals angle CHF, their corresponding angles. Therefore, angle AGH equals 125 degrees. Angle AGH equals angle EGB, their vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle EGB equals 125 degrees. And that's your lot for now. Thank you all for watching the tutorial. Hope that was of some use to you. Don't you feel your head swelling with all this knowledge? Anyway, the next tutorial is on triangle types. So then I guess I'll be trying to sort out my scaling from my isosceles from my equilateral. All good stuff. Hope to see you there. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.